Hey, truth seekers, welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel where we delve in juicy and controversial happenings in the world of royalty. Today, we're digging deep into what could be the final chapter of the drama filled saga of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Let me tell you, the plot thickens and it is not in their favor. But before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. Thank you so much for watching, so thank you so much for commenting, liking, and if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Alright, perfect. Let's get started. So now, as many of you know, the royal family has been dealing with the aftermath of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to step back from their royal duties. It seems like Prince William, the future king, has had enough of their antics. He's tired and he's ready to cut ties once and for all. And according to the insider, Prince William is already planning for a monarchy that doesn't include the Sussexes. He sees no future for Harry and Meghan within the royal family and believes that welcoming them back would be a grave mistake. And you know what? I couldn't agree more. It's no secret. Meghan Markle is a spotlight hungry individual and prince harry seems to be dancing her tune they've always been playing the victim card against the royal family one too many times it's just about time someone took a stand against their manipulative games and the recent peace talks between harry and his father king charles hit a roadblock after the release of omid scobie's book endgame the book made some shocking claims of racism within the royal family throwing the idea of reconciliation into disarray. And Prince William is steadfast in his belief that the Sussexes should not be welcomed back, as he thinks they've already played their best cards. And you know what? He's right. He's right. How much longer can Harry and Meghan just keep milking their grievances for public sympathy? It's a broken record repeating the same victim narrative over and over again. Prince William sees through the charade and doesn't want the royal family to be dragged into this never-ending circus. And despite the olive branch extended by King Charles through a video message from Archie and Lilibet, it seems there's radio silence between the royal family and Prince Harry. A planned follow-up phone call is yet to happen, and that's indicating a lack of willingness on Harry's part to mend fences. And adding even more fuel to the fire, Harry is now embroiled in a legal battle over his security protection during the visit to the UK. It's like he's determined to keep the drama alive. Whether it's through court appearances or tell-all books, the royal family has had enough of this public tantrum. And frankly, so have I. See, the source that I've been in touch with emphasizes that it's not just a lack of trust driving the royal family's decision to keep the Sussexes at arm's length. There's a genuine fear that the British public's dislike of Harry, and of Meghan as well, could tarnish the royal family's image. See, no one wants to be booed in public events. Certainly, no one wants to be seen as weak for allowing them back in after all that they've done. That's a lot of stuff, guys. So what do you think about this news? Please share your comments in down below. Let me know what you think. And until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories. Scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated from the latest of the world of the royal family. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family soon. Bye for now.